Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. Uh, if you are new for my channel, please subscribe and share. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to we detect and uh, use last bit of a PLC. Okay, let's say as you see on the diagram, there are two PLCs that shares a data using put in the gate. So, if in a communication interrupts, we how do we know? Or this will help you to easily detect the failure of a communication so using by live bit let's say live bit of plc1 will be displayed on plc2 hmi so it will uh, blink every two seconds and the live bit of plc2 will be blinked on plc1 as hmi so this will help to easily identify the missing of a communication okay let's do on this one on my our Schematic manager. So I have already created a, a project. So that is created uh, previous. That's used to share data. You can see my previous video about putting the gates. Okay, let's see the hardware configuration. Let's set up. So we have to enable the clock memory of our CPU to detect clock pulse. So it's it's checked here. So the address is one. You can change the address, but I use one. And okay. Also, let's check for PLC two. We have to enable the clock pulse for that one also. This is also selected, and the address is also one okay so let's see the plc one program i have already created two dbs one for sending data and uh, one for receiving data for well, let's see db 100 that's going to be sent to the plc 2 so i have put here live bit of plc one that will be sent to PLC2. This one. Okay. The, uh, the clock pulse or the live bit from PLC will be sold on DB101. So I am going to receive on DB101. This one. Again, this one. Okay. The same is true for PLC2. I have created two DBs. DB200 for sending, DB100 db201 for receiving so db let's open db200 and see what i have written so for clock pulse or the left bit of plc to get here so this will be sent to plc1 okay the left bit of plc1 be, will be uh, received on db201 As you see here, yes, okay here also. So everything is good. So let's add our program here. Let's put on our DB one OB one. Sorry. So I have already created some uh, net uh, programs for sending. This one is for sending. Put. I've already done this one on my previous video, so it's correctly parameterized. And for this one, for send, uh, for receiving from PLC2, the first one for receiving, for sending, sorry, this one for receiving. So, so let's add the clock pulse here. So, as you see, we can generate the clock pulse on our CPU by enabling it as we do previous so the clock memory calculation is here memory bit 1.0 is 10 hertz that means 0.1 second and uh, memory 1.1 1, 1 .1 is 0.2 second or 5 millihertz um, uh, 5 hertz likewise memory 1.7 is 0.5 hertz or 2 second okay so i want this one so let's program this one 
memory 1.7 and uh, I'm going to put on my DB 100 to send to PLC so this is PLC 1 live bit okay great done here so let's do for PLC For PLC2, also the clock pulse is activated and the address is also 1. So, memory memory 1.0 is 0 0.5, 0 0.1 second, and the um, required memory 1.7 is 2 second. So, let's enable this one. The address is again the same. And let's put this one on DB. DB200, DBX1300. This one. Okay, this is live bit of PLC2, two, so, two, so this will be sent to PLC1. Okay, great. I'm done. So let's simulate, uh, simulate the program to check the working. Okay, always on top. Let's start the second PLC because we have two, two PLCs. So top. Okay, let's load our program again. Great. Let's do for PLC two. Okay, great. So let's put my live my. Live bit for PLC two will be saved on one hundred one db one hundred one dot dbx zero zero and on this one on the second PLC the live bit will be saved on two hundred one dot dbx zero zero so let's activate now okay as you see I'm getting the live bit of PLC1, PLC1 on PLC2 and uh, the live bit of PLC2 on PLC1. So, so you can put those bits on your HMI so easily you can detect the missing, to detect missing of a communication. Okay, so let's stop the PLC2. So, uh, let's see what happens on PLC1. As you see, the live bit of PLC on PLC1 is gone, so the communication is interrupted. That means, and again, let's stop the second PLC. When we stop the second PLC, as you see, the clock is for uh, the live bit for PLC1 is again gone, it's stuck. As you see, okay, so. That's what I want to show you. So you can easily detect the missing of communication. Okay, great. I'm done uh, on today's video. Please uh, share and uh, subscribe my videos if you need more. Okay, have a nice time. See you, see you on another video. Thank you.